What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Old School Scares and we're in the middle of our 31 days of Halloween for you to give you another great movie to watch every day during October to get you in that Halloween spirit. And today in the vampire vein we're going to talk about Blade. Blade came out in 1998. Again, consider an action horror movie. Very much like we just talked about John Carpenter's Vampires yesterday, but completely different, right? This is... Man, what can I say about this movie? It's a great amalgamation of everything, right? You have uh, a great cast. You know, um, you've got Wesley Snipes, you've got Stephen Dorff, you've got Chris Christopherson, uh, Shanna Latham, right? Uh, just a great cast. Um, and this is just a, a crazy mashup of a martial arts action movie along with a vampire movie uh, that's just well done. It's so much fun. Uh, and it's a superhero movie, right? Blade is a superhero. Um, you know, kind of in that genre before we got into these, you know, crazy everything that everything became superhero movies today. But this was very different. I think Wesley Snipes was the perfect casting piece for this movie. As you think about movies, he makes this movie as good as what it is. And I think, you know, I, I just think his presence in the movie is very different. And I think it's, you know, I, I think about like Spawn with Michael Jai White and how great that movie could have been. And I just think it, it just missed because I don't know if he had the same connection like Wesley Snipes makes with this character. For me, when I think of Wesley Snipes, I think of really two, two roles. I think of him in White Men Can't Jump and I think of him in Blade. And I think he really is the only person that could have played the character in either one of those movies. And he does an absolutely incredible job. Um, again, without giving too much away in the movie, it's a fun vampire movie, a, a completely different take where you have hybrid vampires, you have vampires evolving, uh, just a ton of cool stuff. But I will tell you the best part of this movie and the best scare literally is the very beginning of the movie. You kind of start with the movie, you see Tracy Lords, who had you know been over from adult movies for a few years now. Uh, coming in, going to the disco, and she just goes in and things just go absolutely apeshit. Like crazy. Blood everywhere, tons of gore. Uh, it's a really good, scary piece to the movie that I didn't expect to see coming that early into it. So it's an, a movie that has a great kickstart that gets that movie going, and it's absolutely incredible. Um, you know, as always, if you haven't had a chance to do so so far, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, again, we want to keep giving you great movies. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about the miniseries Salem's Lot. Uh, from the late 1970s from Stephen King. This was a two-part miniseries that did end up in the theater for a little bit, so we're looking forward to sharing that one with you. Uh, it's a pretty cool movie, and there's a lot of great scares in there as, as well. So, as always, stay scary, and we'll see you soon.